Hello, you guys. How is everyone doing? I'm finally back. You guys, I'm so sorry I was gone so long. It wasn't planned. I planned on just taking uh, maybe like a week off. But the motivation to get out there and coupon just hasn't been there. I don't know what's been going on with me. I just haven't had motivation to do anything. I'm currently on um, Christmas break right now. I work at the school district. So I have a little over two weeks off. And I'm just like... I've been lazy, I've been just sleeping, my sleeping pattern's all backwards, been up late, sleeping late, so I've been a hot mess. I haven't been feeling good, having side effects from this medication that I'm on, I'll get into that a little bit. I'm taking you guys with me, um, I hope you got, this is something you guys would like to see, but grocery shopping, I'm headed to Food for Less right now. Um, Food for Less, if you guys aren't aware, it's, uh, it's big over here in Southern California, but it is a um, sister store of Kroger. So, um, it is just, yeah, they sell all kinds of Kroger stuff in there. Uh, it's just like Ralph's and, um, Smith's and all the other kind of stores like that. But it's one of the most affordable stores where I live. Um, there's another one, Winco. Winco Foods is pretty decent, but I'm not, I hate that store for some reason. I just hate going in there. Um, but Food for Less, it's about 6.35 right now. Uh, any later, if I go in at 8, after 8 it's really sketchy at that store because it's in a bad area um just there's a lot of crime a lot of shady stuff goes on so i i try to hurry up and get out before um before at least 6 30. so but yes you guys i'm so sorry i apologize for not being um active in my youtube channel it's just been a struggle and i've got i've honestly gotten up a couple times i've gotten myself ready I've, i'm still receiving my my inserts i've got myself ready to get to the store and got my camera charged up ready to go and literally i can't make it out the door that's how like i just do not have any motivation right now and it's just been crazy and i've been super moody a lot of that has to do with the pills i'm on as well so it's just a lot of things going on with me and I've been very snappy at my family members and stuff like that. So I've finally had to I have to start changing my attitude and get back on track again. Because this is not the way to go. Because this is like a super slippery slope. I find myself going down and down and down. Not wanting to do crap. Like not even wanting to get up and take a shower. So I'm up. I'm ready to go. Going grocery shopping. I'm on a hundred dollar budget, so um, I could probably spend maybe 110 max, but a hundred dollars is what um, I have to spend today on some groceries. So that'll probably get us about a week's worth. I live in a family of three, three adults. Um, now the good thing is my older sister, she went out to the grocery store about five days ago and bought us a bunch of meats. So we have um, hamburger beef, we have pork chops, we have chicken breast. Um, stuff like that so I don't have to pick up anything like that this is just sides and all the other good stuff that um, we need in the fridge fruits veggies dairy products snacks frozen items stuff like that so it shouldn't be that bad I should be able to stand or a hundred dollars um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to use a few coupons this food for less they do offer digital coupons they're not the best um, 50 cents off of you know certain things maybe a dollar but um, it's not the best, and I normally never use coupons at this store, but I'm gonna try just for the sake of filming this video. Maybe it'll make it a little bit more interesting for you guys, but let me know in the comments what grocery store you guys shop at the most, if you guys have been to a Food for Less, and let me know your opinion. Uh, like I said, they are a little sketchy. Uh, if you go at a later time, well, the one in my area is, but I think we should be good today. I just hope it's not super packed because I don't want to have to film around a whole lot of people. That'd be super awkward. So let's go ahead and go in, you guys. Please like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments as well if this is a video you would like to see. I can start taking you guys with me grocery shopping. I usually go once every week or two weeks. Um, so, yeah. And then I will definitely be at CVS this weekend. I will be at Dollar General this weekend. And I will be at Family Dollar if there is a 5 off 25. But um, I'm ready to get back started for the new year. That's my resolution. At least three to four videos a week. So hold me accountable, you guys. If I don't do it, let me let me have it in the comments. <laughs> All right, let's get started.
Okay, so first thing that I like to do is make sure I have a list because if I don't have a list, I'm gonna end up getting a bunch of crap that we don't need. Um, so before I got here, me and my mom worked on this list together. Um, it's got pretty a lot of the necessities, the basics, yogurt, cheese, milk, juice, broccoli, um, some turkey burgers and stuff like that. But the first stop and the big reason why I come to this food for less is because they have the water, three for $11. Now this is 35 packs, so they are still on a limit. So due to supply, um, three packs per person. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up three packs. So three of them for $11. This will last us um, about two to three weeks. Okay, so there is a dollar coupon. When you save a dollar on Kroger Natural Spring Water, 24 count. Um, I see there's some right there. Now, I don't know if it's part of the same promo, three for 11. I'm actually not even gonna bother using it because we prefer the purified. Um, even though I hear that spring water is better for you, but I just like the taste of the purified more. So I'm gonna just go ahead and stick to that, but. A dollar off a pack is not bad if they're three for 11 because then you can get three of them for eight dollars I believe so yeah okay now next and go ahead and kill two birds with one stone because we need some jiffy corn muffin mix now my mom's gonna be making some stuffed pork chops so she just um, uses some stuffing and then makes some cornbread with it and these are only 48 cents so that's not bad um, I prefer the crusties cornbread um it's the i think it's the honey cornbread or the southern cornbread oh so good but it's like it's like cake it's so sweet these are good for stuffing because they're not super sweet um i don't think i have any coupons on this but i do have a coupon on this macaroni and cheese so they're 99 cents each let's see so i'm just on the foodforless.com uh, website i'm not on the app or anything and I'm just in their digital coupon area. Nothing crazy. I'm dying already from this mask. I'm like, this is big for me right now because I haven't been out in a minute, which is kind of good because I mean, this is not the time to be out and about with COVID, but um, it's kind of nice being out right now shopping by myself. Okay, so there is a save a dollar on four craft original blue box shapes premium or better for you mac and cheese. So when you buy four, you're going to save a dollar. So you'll basically get them for like 75 cents each, I believe. Right? So they're 99 cents each. So that would be $3.96 for four of them. So you get th four boxes for $2.96, if that makes sense. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I do love my some macaroni and cheese. Now, my mom and my sister are on a diet. They just started their diet today. I'm not, I haven't gotten there yet. I've been eating like a mad person. Like I have been gaining so much weight. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it to my account. And then when I get to the register, I'll just enter my number. Um, but I've been eating like crazy. Um, but they have started their diet. So a lot of this food that you're gonna see, the junk food is gonna be for me, which, oh shoot, they got chips too. I need to start, you guys. I just, I don't know, I need, I need a good plan on how to start my diet because I love eating late and I love eating um, junk food. So I'm not quite there with the whole diet thing yet, but hopefully when I see my mom and my sister do it, it'll motivate me to get on track. But Cheetos are Fritos products. Um, they are $1.88, but you have to buy four of them. So that is not a bad deal at all. However, I'm not a huge fan of Cheetos or Fritos, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. Um, and then four bags, no, nah, we don't need that much in the house, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip on those. Family size Ritz, Triscuits, and Chicken and a Biscuits are only $2.99. That's something that was on the list. Uh, let me go ahead and just see if there's any coupons. I don't think there is, but let me check. Now this is my section right here. Ugh. They have sliced cakes. They don't have my favorite one, which is the caramel cake. Um, but they do have carrot, chocolate, red velvet, tres leches, Oreo, mmm, yummy. 
Don't need that though, so I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from that. Uh, we do need some bread products and some produce, so let's go ahead over there. But yeah, basically what my mom's doing is she's going to be um, cutting back on carbs and she's not gonna be eating after 5.30, so she already had her last meal of the day. Um, and then my sister, she does her own little style diet. Tomatoes, we do need some tomatoes. Let me go, let me get some produce bags. Okay, so this is the fun aisle right here. Um, bagels, I want some bagels. So I'm probably gonna get the cheap ones because I'm gonna basically be the only one eating them. Okay, so you can save 50 cents on private selection wide pan bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that to my account. Private selection is just one of the store brands, like the Kroger brand. Um, it's a good brand, the bread's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, I want like a honey wheat. Honey oats, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I ended up going with this 12 grain because they got a ton of it and it's a lot softer. So they are $1.79, so with this 50 cent coupon, go ahead and clip it, I'll pay $1.29. That is not bad, and you can use it up to five times. Um, now, if you're ever in a pinch, good thing about Food for Less, they have a lot of these, these reduced stickers. So this is only an 89 cent loaf of bread, and it is, it's whole wheat and it's soft. Like if you're gonna, if you know you're gonna polish this off in a day or two, that is not bad. 89 cents. Let me go and flip it up. And oh, there's a bunch of them over there. And then I wonder if you can use the 50 cent coupon on top of that. Hey, and that would be like 39 cent bread. That is not bad at all. Uh, we take a long, long time to eat our bread though, so I don't think that's a smart idea getting that one. Um, now we need some hamburger buns, and I think we have another 50 cent coupon on the private selection. Man, they are wiped out. Alright, 50 cents on private selection buns. So you have to buy an 8 count, which these are. These are $1.99. They are pretty low on the selection. They only have whole wheat or sourdough, but good thing we like sourdough. So I'm going to go ahead and clip those. And now these we're going to have with some turkey burgers. And... We have to, I'm gonna buy turkey burgers today and we also have beef burgers. So those will be put to good use. So those are the bread items I got. I got me some cinnamon bagels. I got some sourdough buns. Got some 12 grain bread. And um, I, I think I cleared the bread aisle. So what I try to do with this list is put everything in aisles. So like we have the dairy, I got the bread, fruit, frozen. Down here is just a couple things I added. Okay, let's go ahead to produce and get some stuff. Okay, so we need a bag of spinach. Let's see. Is that what it says on there? Spinach? Spinach, celery, squash, fresh corn. Fresh corn only if it's on sale. Okay, so I found some spinach for $1.99. Who else goes and looks at the, the dates and grabs the oldest date? <laughs> I'll go through all these bags and find the oldest one because it's the freshest, the oldest date to expire. So $1.99 for some spinach. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, let's see what else we need. Some celery, some squash. Squ Ooh, the squash looks bad. Ooh, wow. Darn it, my mom really wanted that. Look at that. Yuck. Guess we're not gonna have any squash. Okay, so then I shouldn't get the corn because the corn goes with the squash. Shoot. That's okay, my mom likes to get a lot of her produce at the 99 cent store as well. Um, she finds some really good stuff there. I was really doubt doubtful but she comes home with bags and bags of really good quality stuff. Sometimes the prices are um, about equal to the regular grocery store, 
but a lot of the time she finds some really good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. Look at the celery, you guys. This produce looks like trash. What the heck? Ugh. This makes me not want to get anything here. I might have to go to a different store. All right, navel oranges, 79 cents a pound. That's not too bad. We'll go ahead and get some of those. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to another store for some produce because that's just ridiculous. They ain't got nothing good here. Um, my sister wants these wraps. She loves these. They're the Extreme Wellness. I don't know if I should get her tomato or the spinach. They're kind of high. They're $3.49. I'm gonna check to see if I have a coupon. Um, but I think they're a little bit cheaper at Walmart. But she loves them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her a pack of those. Um, what else do I got? So bagels, bread, buns, wraps, and rolls. What kind of rolls? Bagels, bread, buns, wraps, rolls. Okay, oranges, lettuce, I got some lettuce. Spinach I got, tomatoes I got. Um, okay, so I need a bag of uh, mini marshmallows because I'm gonna be making, um, it's a pistachio salad. I think, I think they call it Watergate salad. Um, it's super easy. My family's been making it for years. It's just um, walnuts or pecans chopped, marshmallows, a box of pistachio pudding, Cool Whip, crushed pineapple, and you can also add, sometimes we have coconut and stuff like that, but um, I'm gonna make it really simple. It's super delicious, you guys. So I'm gonna be making it for the New Year's just to have in the house, just a little bit, not a lot. I'll probably be the one mostly eating it. So I need some mini marshmallows. Um, we have the pudding mix at the house. I just need to pick up some Cool Whip and some pineapples. Um, and now I'm in the cereal aisle because my mom wants a specific kind of cereal. And then I think I'm gonna pick one out for myself. I'm not a huge cereal lover um, because I, I don't really like milk. But cereal has been sounding pretty good lately. So let's see. My mom's been obsessed with this one, the Great Grains Banana Nut Crunch. I tried it, it was pretty good. I like more of the, the sweeter stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this Frosted Shredder Wheats, just the generic kind. The family size, it's not bad, it's only $2.89. Okay, so now my sister requested some cream of wheat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her a box of that. Okay. Just the original kind. I love cream wheat. It's kind of pricey. $4.49, but this is the box. This will last us a while. Yeah. I love cream wheat. I love oatmeal. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, so I got the bread, got the cream of wheat. I just need the crushed pineapple now. Got the banana nut cereal. Oh, my mom wants a can of sliced peaches. Okay. Um, Yo Play yogurts. Yes. Okay. So I think we're on track. Oh, my kidney is hurting a little bit. I um. So basically, what I've been going through is uh, for about the past like few years, I've been having like issues with like hair loss and um, just like no energy. Um just feeling like very sluggish and like just terrible like hair like my hair was falling off in globs I could probably make a whole video on this but it took me a while I was afraid to go to a doctor for obvious reasons I just hate doctors I always feel like it's gonna be something really bad but I eventually this was when I was 30 that I started noticing all this happening and I'm now 33 so it took me three years to go to the doctor um, so I went to my primary and they kind of, they just did a few little tests on my thyroid and stuff. And they said my thyroid was, was under, under active. I had a hypoactive thyroid, which means it's uh, running slow. I'm um, not like crazy slow, but they did want to put me on some medication. So I started the medication for a while and it made me very nauseous. And I just stopped taking it because I was like, oh, this is like miserable. Like I'm, I'm nauseous. I don't feel good. And, um... I noticed the problems kept happening. They came back, obviously. And even on the medication, I felt like nothing really was happening. Like I felt a little, had a little bit more energy, but I went back to the doctor and they ended up referring me to an endocrinologist. 
Okay, so canned fruit. My mom said sliced peaches. I don't think she wants heavy syrup though, so let's do sliced peaches and fruit juice. And then I need some crushed pineapple for the salad I'm making. Um, I usually always like to go with Dole, but let's go, I'm gonna be cheap and just get a can of this regular crushed Kroger brand. And I haven't looked at my coupons. I gotta go back and just make sure I don't have any, any of this stuff has coupons that I can attach to it. So I gotta do that. But yeah, I um, ended up getting a referral to the endocrinologist and um, he did a ton of blood work, checked everything. And um, actually, I've been told in the past that I have a low volume of blood. I was told this from a doctor a while back. So then I was terrified to get my blood work done because I had gotten it done in the past and I like literally almost passed out. I couldn't, I couldn't leave the place for like a good hour because I was just like so sick. So I was terrified of getting my blood work done. So I, I put it off again, you guys, about two months. I was supposed to go get my blood work done. I had an appointment for a couple of weeks and I put it off. I canceled it. I never went to get my blood work done felt horrible because I wasn't taking it. I wasn't on any medication. Hair was still falling out. No energy. Um, just ugh, feeling like crap. So with the help of my family and friends, I was finally like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I went, just woke up one day and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go do my blood work. My mom wants a diet root beer. Let's see. My sister wanted some sunflower butter, but they don't carry that here. Another thing about this store is it's pretty like it's more of like an entry level store. They're not going to carry like crazy healthy stuff. It's going to be more like your basics. So she wanted some, I'm surprised they even had those wraps, but she wants some sunflower butter. And we usually get that at Target. So I'm going to go have to, I'm definitely going to have to hit up another store after for produce. So hopefully they'll have it at Stater Brothers. Okay, so my mom wants some diet root beer. Um, I finally went did the blood work everything was fine I did get a little dizzy but I was cool like I didn't pass out I didn't feel you know terrible or anything so a few days later I had my doctor's appointment super nervous and the doctor checked my blood and he kind of made that face like ooh and I was like oh what does that mean okay some whip topping so he was just like your levels are all over the place. Your blood levels are like super low in places, super high in other places. Um, he ended up telling me, hold on guys, let me check my list one more time because I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, Cool Whip, I'm gonna have to start going quick because now I have cold items. Um, cool Whip, I wanted to get a couple frozen burritos. Um, what else is on here? Oh, turkey burgers. My sister wants some vegan burgers, frozen french fries. Okay, let me grab that stuff really fast before I finish the story. Okay, so I have 50 cents off of Orida frozen potatoes. Um, you can use this up to five times. So they are two for five. Let me go ahead and clip it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two bags. They'll take off a dollar, so they'll be two for four, which is basically the same price as the, um, the Kroger brand. So I'm going to get some steak fries. Got some hot wings in there too. Um, I'm gonna also get, ooh, tater tots, yes, yes, okay. Okay, look you guys, I found this free coupon for a free Schweppes Zero Sugar 2 liter. Of course, I'm gonna hop on it, but there is none. <laughs> they only have the regular Schweppes. It is, it just says zero, oh, sugar ginger ale. Yeah, they only have the regular, darn it. You know, we live for a freebie, us couponers. Um, okay, so I ended up picking up my sister some Morning Star. She likes those little vegan burgers. Um, I have to check to see if I have any coupons on those. Now, let's see where we're at with the list. I need a lot of dairy products, so I'm saving that for last. Um, eggs, orange juice, I want some Lunchables can of peaches already did that turkey bro oh, turkey burgers let's go find those hopefully they have them 
these are the bomb you guys these Jenny O turkey burgers but they have to be the white turkey super good they're six dollars and 99 cents for six of them a little pricey but totally worth it we love these um, sometimes you can even get them seasoned but I don't think these are seasoned that's cool though definitely gonna pick those up okay guys sorry I just I've skipped ahead a little bit I'm, I just got some eggs I got two things of orange juice one with heavy pulp because I like that and then the other one without um, I got some 2% milk um, and I think that's it yeah okay so I need some cream cheese some provolone some sliced cheese some salami some yo play yogurts that's my ultimate favorite yo play cherry Ugh, I've been eating that since I was a kid I'm so not embarrassed to be eating these I love me some bologna these you guys if you guys are fans of hot links the evergood brand they're a little pricey there's only four links and they're about five dollars oh they are so delicious slice them in half put them in the toaster oven put them in like a french roll so good they got that crack you know when you bite them mmm super good and then we got some cheese like some smoked provolone and some mild cheddar the mild cheddar are gonna be for the burgers and turkey burgers provolone is gonna go with some salami for some salami sandwiches so I just need to pick up the salami grab some cream cheese for my bagels I've been checking the coupon so far I haven't seen anything pop up you know let me check on these hot links okay so I'm almost done I wanted to finish my story before I let you guys go um, I'll definitely show you the receipt at the end so you can see how much I spent so I ended up going to the endocrinologist finally like I said after three years of going through what I was going through um, and he ended up telling me that yes my thyroid was underactive um, also my cortisol cortis cortis is that what it is <laughs> I think it's cortisol basically it was a different level and my body was low and then I had high levels of prolactin uh, he said extremely high levels of prolactin and um, low levels of some other stuff and it was just I was all over the place but basically he said that the prolactin was the big one and it can be causing it's the main cause of why all my other hormones are out of whack so he's saying that when you have high levels of prolactin it could be because of a tumor in your pituitary gland which is uh, like a little pea-sized gland in your brain in the base of your brain I did my research so I had to find I had to like go sit down and research everything because he said tumor and I started freaking out like I was thank God I was there by myself I wanted to cry just when you hear tumor and especially brain tumor well he had calmed me down and he was like you know um, they're actually a lot more common than you think one in five people have them um, have these tumors and they're called prolactinomas and they are actually benign tumors he said in his whole time as a doctor he's never seen uh, the tumor be cancerous um, he said it is just a benign tumor abnormal growth in the pituitary gland which basically blocks a lot of your hormones from produ being produced so that was the reason why um, all my hormones were jacked up so I ended up doing an MRI which was oh my god have you got anyone out there who's ever had an MRI I will never ever say anything bad about that I mean that the MRI was so bad I had to do an hour I had to do 40 minutes with this helmet on my head and basically I felt like I was strapped down and then 20 more minutes with an inj uh, some kind of a dye injection it was terrible um, but I did it so now I got my oh my god I can't stand when people stare it's like I know I'm talking into a camera but it's like <laughs> don't stare um so now I did all that I got my follow-up appointment January 26th I think or 28th something like that so I will keep you guys updated he put me on a bunch of medication now um, taking it all at once really really made me sick like I wanted to die um, oh this is another big thing this is what was, was, was terrifying so about a week before Thanksgiving I was noticing that my eyesight was getting really blurry and it was getting like super blurry where I couldn't even read a text message on my phone 
and my especially my right eye it was just it's like I had um, just like a cloud in front of my eyes and I freaked out you guys I called off of work I was calling the doctor freaking out and he was telling me that could be because of the prolactinoma it is super close to your um, optical nerve and he said if it's growing then it could be pressing on your optical nerve so that is definitely something to worry about so that freaked me the hell out um, I, would, I was literally just miserable I couldn't see I had a throbbing headache I felt like throwing up and that was like the tip of the iceberg for me I was like you know what I gotta do something about this so he did I, I had the medication on me um, he wanted me to start taking everything but one and because he was waiting for the MRI to see how big the tumor was in my brain before I could start the medication for the tumor to shrink it um, so I started taking the medication that he gave me and I got so sick really nauseous really tired um, just headaches not wanting to do anything just feeling gross and I ended up calling him and it was, it's a whole long it's a big story you guys I should probably make a video on it but anyways um, I am now he told me that uh, my thyroid medication he said you can stop taking that as of right now just because I know all of them is a lot for your system and your thyroid is like it was kind of the least of the, the problems right now so basically I'm taking almost all of my medication but I've been taking it regularly and um, I've been fine now I do get headaches and I do get a little bit nauseous every so often um, but the the main one which is this pill I take uh, uh, three times a week that is to shrink the tumor in my brain that one is like super super strong so thank god I only have to take it three times a week and I take it before bed so um, it's not that bad but it like this is going to be total TMI it gives you extreme constipation like extreme like if I didn't take something for it I would probably not go to the restroom at all like I went a week without going to the restroom super TMI sorry guys um, but I'm gonna go more into detail next time I see you guys when I coupon but just know I'm getting better I am taking my medication like I should be um, I have my follow-up appointment next month so I'm super excited to see how my levels are hopefully they've evened out a little bit um, I'm still not on all 100% my medication just because it's a lot for me but I know I'm gonna eventually have to do it um, and get on everything so I'm just taking it slowly day by day but um, yeah really excited to get back out here and film for you guys I really missed you guys um, I'm gonna go ahead up to the register right now pay for all this stuff and I will see you guys outside with the receipt hopefully I stayed in budget um, and I'm gonna check my list one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything all right, you guys, what do you think I spent? I definitely went a little bit over budget, $118. Not bad though. Um, we got everything we needed, everything on the list, except for a few vegetables, but that's okay. I can go stock up on those at a different store for cheap. All in all, I think that was really good. You guys let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and uh, would like to see more like this because I would definitely love to do it for you guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go reward myself with some Taco Bell. <laughs> I've been really craving a cheesy gordita crunch and a Doritos Locos taco. So I think I'm gonna go do that. Have a blessed night, you guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys on Saturday. Dollar General, Family Dollar. And then Sunday at CVS. Have a blessed night, you guys. Bye. Look at that line, you guys, to in and out It is wrapped all the way over here. Holy cow. in and outs good and all, but it ain't that good. Please, no one hit me. No one hit me. I had a change of mind. I think I'm going to do Panda Express. Um, Taco Bell always has a line almost identical to that. So let's go to Panda. And darn it, there's nobody in line. Now there's three cars. No. What do you guys love from Panda? I think I'm gonna do a two entree, chow mein and um, I think all chow mein. 
and then I'm gonna do orange chicken and cream cheese rangoons. Emerald Ruby! <laughs>